Hope everybody's doing well. Welcome back to Hockey Bar. It is the 12th. It's a Tuesday. It's a cold one out there, so let's get right to it. So first in the news uh, is about Evgeny Malkin of the Penguins. Uh, he's been the assistant captain for a long time. Uh, he was actually suspended uh, for a game uh, for an intentional high stick on Michael Roffel, player for the Flyers. So he received a game misconduct. There was, I think it was about 11 minutes left in the game, so no big deal really. But uh, the league reviewed it, and they decided to give him a uh, one-game suspension, which uh, <laughs> is kind of funny because the next time these two teams meet is going to be the Stadium Series game. So I don't know if we're going to see any action uh, on such a big pedestal like that, but uh, I think Malkin might get what he should come to him for doing something like that. But we'll have to see. I know Raffle, uh is a very physical player, and he, he likes to throw down. So Raffle might be the one who comes back. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, and also, David Pasternak of the Bruins is unfortunately injured. Um, so Bruins are going to have to work without him. Uh, he's the current leading scorer, so it's kind of a problem for them. He was injured off the ice. Uh, he was on his way to some t some form of transportation. It was a cab, I don't know. But apparently he tripped and uh, he hurt his thumb. So he's going to need thumb surgery uh, soon. And then he's going to be out for two weeks, maybe more. So it's kind of a blow to the Bruins, so hopefully they do well. And then uh, another injury is Ali Mata of the Penguins was injured in last night's game against the Flyers. Uh, same game that the Malkin incident happened in. Uh, it was a collision uh, with a Flyers player against the boards. He ended up with an upper body injury, so he's going to be out for a while. And now uh, moving on, uh, I first want to also give a mention. Uh, congratulations to Joe Thornton. He's now number nine all-time in assists uh, in the NHL history. I pass Gordie Howe. So now moving on to games to watch, we got an original six match between the Blackhawks and Bruins. So the Blackhawks played well a couple days ago against the Red Wings, scored five goals. So they got the offense going. Lately, they've been doing pretty good. Now the Bruins, however, uh, have lost a couple in a row. So we'll see how that one pans out. Uh, they are the home team. Uh, they're also without uh, McAvoy. And obviously, as we talked about earlier, they're also without Pasternak. So... They could probably still get some scoring done um, against the Blackhawks, but they do have pretty good goaltending, so we're just going to have to see how that one puts out. And now a big uh, match between some of the best in the league. Uh, Lightning still number one in the league. It flames uh, second place or third, I don't remember exactly. They're, they've been switching with the Jets lately. Uh, I don't know if they're first or they're second or third in the uh, West. I know San Jose passed both of them yesterday, uh, so we're going to have to find out how that one goes. I think Tampa Bay's got home. So they're going to have the edge in this one, probably. Uh, but Calgary's pretty good on the road. They can score a lot, so we'll just have to see. And then our last match is uh, the Red Wings and the Predators. So the Red Wings uh, and Predators, last time they matched up, I was in Detroit, and Detroit won in overtime. Uh, so very close game through and through. Uh, Predators had a lead, and then they bl uh, blew it. So anything can happen. Uh, they're, they are in Nashville, and Nashville's a hard place to win in. Uh, there's a lot of drama with the crowd and everything. It's a little little nerve-wracking for a player to play there uh, if you ever seen a game in Nashville. It's uh, pretty insane. So Red Wings going to have to deal with that. Um, I'd say as long as they keep uh, clean, they probably got the win. Uh, they're getting in penalty trouble a lot, and I think that costs them a lot of the times. So they're going to have to see how that one goes. Uh, Predators probably ready to go. They're one of the better teams. Uh, and this could probably be a cakewalk for them on paper. So. And now moving on uh, to... Our stats, Nikita Kucherov of the Lightning is still with 84 points and 60 assists, doing very well, uh, leading the league in both categories. And then Alex Ovechkin got a goal last night uh, in a win. So he's at 38 now, and Mark Giordano, along with many of the Flames, lead the plus-minus, and he's at a plus-30. And going over to goalies, uh, Robin Lehner of the Islanders now has a 205 goals against average and is also now leading the save percentage category with 93.0% of saves so very good uh, to see him top in the list again and then Mark andre Fleury who's still leading in two categories as well with 29 wins and six shutouts is going to be playing tonight against the Coyotes so hopefully he can get a win there and hit the 30 mark uh, maybe even a shutout too just to extend that so anything can happen as I've said multiple times and we can just see how it goes tonight so thank you guys for tuning in again to another episode of Hockey Bar. It really means a lot if you made it this far. Uh, if you're new to this show, do hit the subscribe button. Uh, we do this every day, and it really means a lot. So I want to thank you guys again for tuning in. We'll see you next time.